Hey, in today's video, we're going to be showing you a CRM for real estate agents. So a real estate agent, maybe you have a brokerage and it's growing and you realize like it's a little bit hard to keep track of all the different listings and agents and deals and deal flow. This is going to do it for you right here. So if you take a look at this, this is your dashboard here, and this is through a service called Monday.com. And the really cool thing is this is a one click template that I have in the description of this video that you can check out and it's going to do all this for you. All you have to do is click on that link. And then it's going to open it up. You set up a free account with monday.com and then you're going to have all this. And I'm going to walk you through it right now. So really, really cool stuff. Uh, you can see your listing timelines in one view. You can see new listing deals by month, listing status, active listing values, average days on market, average price per square foot. So the link in the description will open up a page that looks like this. And then you just have to click use template. And then that's going to open this up inside of your Monday CRM. So the way that this works right here is if you click on properties, right, you have different properties here and all this is already built into here. So, you know, these are just for example purposes. So you might go like this and just like select all these and uh, delete in your template. But this is good to understand like what's going on in here and how it works. So let's look at this first one right here. Uh, this makes it really easy. You can assign an agent. The way that you'd have agents is you can go down here. You go into uh, admin and users and you add additional users. So these probably be real estate agents for you. Uh, you put in the address and then the listing status. So is it active and negotiation, stuck, sold, contract sent, offer made? The listing status is a really interesting thing. So let's say that like you're somebody who's managing a team and it turns out that you have listings like this. There's certain filters that you can apply. So up here, filter by anything. Um, we can go in here and look at listing status and just be like, all right, I just want to see deals that are stuck. So you can just see a filtered view and go, okay, these are the different deals that need help. They're stuck. So I'm going to go and talk to those people. So that's why having a CRM is really helpful with statuses is because you can see that information really quickly. So I'm going to uh, unclick that so we can move down here. Uh, you can add in a potential buyer listing time. So like this one I put out in the future, October 31st, but like Let's say um, this actually listed on this day right here. You just double click it, okay? So here, like you can set the date for the listing times because I was doing this as an example. Um, let's say it's gonna be tomorrow. So if I double click October 21st or 5th, which is tomorrow as I'm making this video, you can see over here that days on market is actually negative one days. Um, but if this was to be in the past, kind of like this one was, it was September 10th um, is when it started. That's why it's 45 days into the past. So that kind of helps get you an idea when you're looking at your dashboard that you're like, okay, average days on market is 26 days. Now you can see if we go in here and I was to change this and let's say that this one was no longer started on September 10th, but it was actually started on October 20th. And I apply that and we go back into the agency dashboard. This is where you can see it's now 20 or 16 days that the average is. So you can see how the information that was within your properties here is going to affect the information that's in your dashboard. Your dashboard is like your command center, your main bird's eye view of everything going on, and your properties is where you enter the information uh, and adjust things on the fly. And you know, you're know you gonna have different things like what kind of apartment is it? Uh, what's the price, square foot, uh, price per square foot, all this information. Uh, type, you know, is this a, a buy or rent? Is this a bedrooms? How many are there? Bathrooms, et cetera. And the cool thing is, it's very easy to just add additional columns. There's so many different things you can do in here and just make it really easy for yourself to be able to manage your business and make it very easy to see what listings and properties you have, what real estate agents are doing, what you can all do it right in here. Now, contacts, this is a good one too. So uh, a lot of times, you know, if you're a real estate agent, it's not just about how many properties you have listed, but what your deal flow look like for the future. So you can have contacts come through here. You can manually add these new contacts. So you can see it just added the new row. And there's also some cool stuff that you can do uh, with money.com where you can actually create intake forms. Let's see if I can do this on the fly. It's been a little bit since I've done this. All right, there it is. So let's say uh, what you could do is I'm gonna create your first form here and we're gonna skip that, build form. So you can see that this is a contact form here that we can build, but it already has it kind of built into this. The fact broker, client, lead, what is this? What's their phone, email, all of that. So uh, you can customize this to your needs. But the cool thing is, is once you publish it, you're going to have a link. So let's say internally you have somebody you're like, I don't want them messing around with the CRM, but I do want them to put in new deal flow. 
Well, you can give that person a link that they can save on their bookmarks and say, hey, every time somebody calls and we get a new lead or we get a new email, I want you to go in here and I want you to fill out this information and say, hey, this is a new lead, their name. You can add extra um, uh, content here. Let's say a name, a testy test, right? All right, select your answer. Um, we're just gonna leave that one like that. Uh, we got a phone, just entered that one in automatically, and then email at email.com. So when this person in your office was to do this, this information is going to automatically now be added into your contacts. So why don't we go back to the contacts? You can see we're up here on form. I started pointing with my finger, that doesn't help. Uh, <laughs> we'll go over here to the main table and see you can see testy test right here, right? So that contact detail is already automatically linked in. And if you need to update anything, you can do that as well. So this is an awesome way that you can actually embed that form on your website and you can remove branding and do all these things. And again, when somebody becomes um, a uh, different uh, than a lead, you can change that on the fly too. So it's just like, you know what, they're, uh, this is a client or a broker, anything you want. You can actually edit the labels. So if you think there's other labels that you would need beyond just a lead, you can do that as well. Uh, this is a very helpful CRM for you if you're looking at running your real estate business. And what I recommend for you is to watch this next video. It's a beginner's tutorial that's gonna get more into the weeds of monday.com so you can see how it's gonna work for you. And again, if you want this template and just wanna be able to mess around with it for yourself, there's gonna be a link in the description for you. It'll just take you a minute or two to do it and you're gonna be off and running with your new CRM for your real estate business. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.